the grind, my sick degenerate. I made it to the final table. I'm a once to watch, so that should be interesting. No, no, no. I think this year is my year. Uh, I won one eventually. Was to watch. Doc Sins. Doc's a tough player. From what I heard, he plays a little bit crazy sometimes. 100K is a lot of money. You know, I got second in the last 100K at the Bellagio, so it's a huge buy-in tournament. Oh, this is a lot of money. Felt like I had a, a decent edge over the field. Doc Sands has been a successful poker player for a while. I try to diversify, you know, my assets, and some of my investments are high risk, like the 100K, and some of them are low risk, like a savings account. He seems like another person with, like, balance. Part of playing poker is taking high-variant spots when you feel like you have an advantage. I think uh, once your bankroll is a healthy bankroll and you can play these, these high buy-in events, you're okay if you lose this. It's not a big deal at all. As soon as my entry fee is paid for, I just think of the chips I have and the big blinds that I'm dealing with. And that would be the way I thought of it if it was a $10 tournament or a $100,000 tournament. I like Doc Sands as a person a lot. And his fiance Erica, you know, both playing poker and both doing so well, it's kind of a cute little bond they have. It's great that Erica plays poker a lot too because she's really able to empathize with the ups and downs. She's just super supportive when I'm playing. And, you know, he seems really supportive of her. And I'm gonna be honest, I mean, I've dated a few poker players here and there, and usually that relationship doesn't work out too well. But, I mean, they seem to have made it work. I think one thing that enables Erica and I to keep a, a pretty good perspective is that we enjoy doing a lot of things outside of poker. We share a passion for our dog. We have a little Maltese named Coco. We do a lot of hiking, biking, skiing, and we also like to travel, and we really like to eat good food and cook. I think we have a, a really diverse range of interests, and it's, it's one thing that helps someone stay grounded in the poker world. They're a cute couple. I'm happy for him. He bought her, like, sick wedding ring. It's, like, 70, 80, I don't even know how much it is, but it's beautiful. <laughs> I love Erica, and she's a great life companion. I'm very lucky to have her.